so this is our first lesson on fractions. Just a quick reminder of fractions and how we read fractions. This is a pizza or a piece of pie. By simply drawing a line through the middle, we create a piece of pizza that's divided into two parts. So if we were to eat just the whole pizza, like this, then we'd eat a pizza. Well, it's one piece, and we've eaten a whole piece, the whole pizza, so we would eat one of one piece. And this above pizza, we've it's divided into two. If we're to eat the whole pizza, then we'd be eating both pieces. So we've had two pieces, and we ate both pizzas. This is saying the same thing. This is saying the same thing. So these two are called equivalent fractions. Now, it's only a fraction when you have one number over top of the other number. So two over top of two is a fraction. A very quick review. If we only ate this piece of pizza, then we would have two pieces of pizza, and we would only have eaten one of them. We would eat half of the pizza. There. If our pizza was divided into four pieces, and we ate half the pizza, then we'd actually have eaten one, two pieces of four. So there's four pieces, and we would have eaten two of them. We would have eaten half the pizza. So in this case, one half is the equivalent of two over four. Half the pizza. These things mean the same thing. These mean the same thing. Let's say we had one quarter. We want to come up with some equivalent fractions to that one quarter. Let's go back to our whole pizza. We had a whole pizza. And it was the same as if we ate two pieces of a pizza that has two pieces, equivalent fractions. Another equivalent fraction that we did, we a have a half a pizza. And that equivalent fraction was if we had a pizza of four pieces, and we ate two of them, then we would have eaten half the pizza. Let's see if we can see a pattern here. How could we turn this into this? Well, we could add one to the top and add one to the bottom. That works. So add one and add one. Does that work for this question down below? Add one to the bottom becomes three. Sorry. Add one to the bottom becomes two. Add one to the bottom becomes three. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. So adding numbers doesn't work. Well, let's try multiplying numbers. So to turn that 1 into a 2, we multiply it by 2. To turn this one into a 2, we multiply it by 2. Well, that works. Let's try the bottom. To turn that 1 into a 2, we multiply it by 2. Get 2. Turn that 2 into 4, we multiply it by 2. So it seems that we can multiply top and the bottom by the same number to get an equal fraction. So in this case, we multiply by 2 by 2. What if we multiply the top by 3 and the bottom by 3? Three? 3 over 3. So if we eat three pieces of pizza, and there's only three pieces for the whole pizza, we have eaten three of three pieces. They are equivalent fractions. So the same would go for the bottom. Multiply the bottom times three and get three. Multiply the bottom times three and get six. So if we had a six-piece pizza and we ate three of them, it's the same. So those are all equivalent fractions. To summarize it up, you want to make an equivalent fraction 
multiply the top and the bottom by the same thing. If you want to make an equivalent fraction, you multiply the top, let's say 7, times the bottom by the same thing. And you would get 7 over 28. Equivalent fraction. Now the reason this works is because we are multiplying the top and the bottom by the same number. 7 over 7 is the same as 1. When you multiply any number, 3 times 1 is equal to 3. 7 times 1 is equal to 7. 1 quarter times 1 is equal to 1 quarter. Final example. 1 7. I want an equivalent fraction. I'm going to choose the number 2. And I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by the same number, 2 over 2, which is equal to 1. And that is going to be an equivalent fraction. 1 7 is equal to 2 14 That's the lesson.